What's up? This is Wilzer and today play more Pokemon. Now I did do a little bit of grinding off camera. Got Spear and Mancube level 12. That's just two extra levels there. And yeah, so Squirtle's still level 14. What have you got to say, bro? One of Professor Oak's aides. Oh yes, running shoes, this is what I'm talking about. Because I'm sure you're all pretty tired of me just walking around at the speed of light over the speed of light but yeah so now we can run around just beast mode it up there we go there we go okay so first battle here on the way to Mount Moon you looked at me didn't you calm down Briz and looked at you look but don't touch isn't that what they say and it's a school girl Awkward. So yeah, Pidgey vs. Spearow, Battle of the Titans, dare I say. But yeah, Pet greater than Gust, I'd say, so let's bring it full. 105 XP, pretty nifty. Yeah, I'll just continue with Spearow, because, you know, bird fighting bird, what could go wrong, really? Whereas Mankey, obviously, bird or well, flying is effective against fighting, so we don't want to be putting Mankey into situations like that. Critical hit, that's what I'm talking about! Yeah. Last Janice. Edgian. <laughs> Personal joke. Anyway. <laughs> Mr. Bug Trainer. I saw you in Viridian Forest. So, yeah, here we go. Caterpie. Do this. One shot Caterpie level 10 there. Absolutely styling on them, the Spearows. Got a bit of a Weedle coming up. No match for Spiro. But hopefully, one shot it again. And one shot the cat to be for the finish. Bit of a montage there. Uh, montage moment, just one shot and everything. So, yeah, now Spiro's level 13. I will. Oh, Fury Attack. Fury Attack's pretty. Eh, it's pretty meh. But at the same time, it can be quite good. Depends whether you get the 5 hitter or not. Sometimes it'll just do 2. Or anywhere in between. So yeah, switch out to Mankey. And I know I... Oh, I think I do. No, I don't really have to fight this guy, but I will. Shorts are delightfully comfy and easy to wear. Cool story. Me, personally, I'm not a big fan of shorts, but... That's just me. Oh, this is going to be super effective. Oh, quick attack. Oh, I was not expecting that. Took quite a bit of damage as well, and dying damage, but yeah. Karate Chop. Yeah, Mankey learned Karate Chop during the grinding process. Ekans. Ekans backwards is Snake. Just in case you didn't know. And it's Evolution Arbok. Arbok backwards is Cobra. So. And Muk backwards is... Well, I'll just leave that to your imagination. So yeah, Squirtle. I don't know why I brought up Squirtle, but I suppose water's not... You know, not effective. Not, 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 not effective. I don't know. I wasn't keeping track of that. I probably said that wrong. But it's not, 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 not important. Rap. Oh, rap. In the original red, this was probably the most annoying move ever. But I don't think it's quite as bad because it doesn't just keep you rap forever. It was in red, it kind of did, and it's just annoying. I don't know. I forgot really. Red and blue, that is. I'm not just saying it's just red. I mean, if, if you were a blue person, part of the blue man group, then, you know, maybe you prefer that. So, yeah. Book catcher here. Are you a trainer? Of course I'm a trainer. Why else would we be playing Pokemon? I keep fast forward. I mean, I know they say that, you know, at the start of Pokemon, you can, you know, trainers or collectors or people who just like them as friends, but to be honest, when you're playing this game, you kind of are a trainer, and you don't really have the option of being just a collector, or just a, well maybe you could be a collector, but you have to do some fight as well, but you can never be just a Pokemon friend, as you just sit around in Pallet Town doing pretty much nothing. So of course, I'm a trainer, to answer your question, even though I'm already halfway through the battle. Just karate chop, see what it does, but it won't do anything. Right. 
Should have just kept with what I knew. Should have just kept with the old scratch. Scratch with you. Yeah, no, Cocoon doesn't have any interest in backwards and evil. I mean, our new cat. I'm so good about that. What kind of Pokemon design is? I want more backwards and aims, okay? Because, say, this hard is getting pretty annoying. But yeah. We finally got it. Cat P. Oh, what do I think of this? No. So I want this monkey to get level 13. Get the unlucky numbers out of the way as quickly as we can. Oh, I don't know. Should we, can we get. Would we be able to two shot this? It's all a question of luck, really. I'm gonna say no. See, ever the pessimist. Oh, we've got a critical. Why did we get critical? That'd be nice. Would've been handy. Yeah. Beggars can't be choosers, and we got level 13 anyway, so it's not too big a deal. Right, use Metapod. Yeah, let's just take Spear out. Take Spear out for a little fly around, and hopefully pet this Metapod to death. Pretty brutal, to be honest. That Pokemon is very brutal, but you know what can you do? Super effective. See, Spearow is beasting at the minute. Mankey's kind of lagging behind, but it will come into its element soon. Don't you worry. See, so, yeah, I'll switch out my old Mankey there. Oh, no, not Pokedex. There we go. Switch. Let's just bring out Squirtle. What have you got to say for yourself? It's so intriguing! Cool story. Yeah. Such a suggestive pose. Anyway. Rapitar. No match for water gun, are you, Rapitar? Although, in my experience with water guns, they're not particularly that lethal or deadly in any way whatsoever. Unless you get sprayed in the eye. That is when they're pretty damn deadly. You know what can you do? Get sprayed in the eye. Get sprayed in the eye. It's all, it's all part of the battlefield. I don't know. Don't know what I'm saying anymore. Anyway. Yeah, level 15 already. That's what was styling on the other Pokemon in the party. Just bring out Spearow because Spearow should make short work of this Nidoran. What? Wait, what gender was it again? Because he has the yeah, it's a female one. You get the male Nidorans and the female ones for whatever reason. And they both evolve second evolution into um, Nido King and Nido Queen, obviously. Respective to their genders. And we've been poisoned, which is great times. Poisoning is pretty annoying. I might have to take a short trip back to the Poke Center after this battle because. When you're outside of the battle and you've been poisoned, you will take a bit of damage on the poison Pokemon every couple of steps. Which is pretty annoying, and if you don't have a Pokemon center nearby, then it's very annoying. And you don't have Fly or anything like that. Yeah, unless Sally and his suggested poses can just go F and dev. So yeah, I'm just going to take a short trip to the Pokemon center. Okay, we're back. Let's take on this little bug trainer here. Bring out Spearow so we can get it over with. So, bruh. How bad for you with Pokemon I just caught? Oh, the Pokemon. What else? Why do they love nets anyway? I mean. Are you gonna catch a Caterpie with a net? Is that really necessary? You could just pick it up, really. Hold it by the little red things on the front of its face, the little front bump things. Whatever they are. Metapold. Good old useless Pokemon. How can you not love them? Oh wait, because they're completely useless. That must be it. We should level up off this. There we go, Spearow, you absolute monster. Anyway, yeah. Defeating Booker James, done like a dinner, 132 Pokeball. That's just awkward. I was meant to say Pokebooks slash Poke Dollars, and I said Poke Bollocks. <laughs> Whatever. Did you touch me? Why are people so paranoid on this route? Did you look at me? Did you touch me? You look at me again. All awkward. Never mind. I should try out Fury Attack, me thinks. 
so far I've only been pecking. Yeah, after this battle I'll call it a day for the video. We'll start Mount Moon next video. Should be interesting. See, yeah, that's actually a fury attack yet. Oh, no. Yeah, to save it, I don't want to use it anyway. It's bad. It's bad. Well, it's, it's okay, but I don't really want to be using it right now. So let's pack again. Get this over with. Jigglypuff is a pretty powerful, like, defensive wall, in a way. Yeah. Anyway, that's all for this video. See you next video, where we will be going to Mount Moon and doing stuff there. So, until then.